Hola, hola, hola. So you want to go to the pearl of the Indian Ocean? I mean, over there they are going to say Ayobuwan and not Ola. Now the thing is, you will need a visa to go to Sri Lanka. That's bad news, but the good news is that it's really simple to get and I'm going to explain you how. Step number one, no, you cannot enter by sea. Yes, Sri Lanka is an island. Uh, Sri Lanka at its closest is only 30 kilometers from India and most islands can be reached by boat but no Sri Lanka you cannot reach by boat so the only legal way to enter Sri Lanka for tourists is by an aeroplane so all you gotta do is to get onto Skyscanner and start looking for that cheap really nice flight to Sri Lanka Step number two, book a return flight to Sri Lanka. Yes, I have been to Sri Lanka twice and neither of the times did the immigration ask for a return flight or a proof of return flight rather. But the rules do state that you need to have a onward journey proof to be able to get into Sri Lanka the right way. So yes, go on, book that flight. Step number three, electronic or visa on arrival, that question, right? Okay, so now Sri Lanka does provide visa on arrival to most nationalities at their airport, uh, but they also offer online visa, which is really simple to get. The other reason why you might want to get an online visa is because it's $5 cheaper than the visa on arrival. So if you're from South countries, visa online is $20, visa offline on arrival is $25, if you are not from a SAR country, visa online is $35 oof, and offline it's $40. So yeah, you're saving $5, you can have lots of cups of really sweet and nice Ceylon tea with that. Step number four, now the actual process. Uh, when you are about to do the visa, have a look at which place you want to stay at because you will need an address in Sri Lanka for the form. Now you have your flight tickets ready, you know where you want to stay. Uh, you have your passport and you get on to the Sri Lanka ETA website okay and it's a very simple form you will fill it in a few minutes and after that you will get an acknowledgement in your email saying that uh, we acknowledge your email but that's not it you have to wait for another few hours they say that most it takes is 24 hours to get the actual visa on an email you don't need to carry it but you know just for the heck of safety why not take a printout or keep it on your phone ready just in case someone asks step number five the final one now you're on the flight you've gotten off at sri lanka you're at colombo airport mostly because i think that's the only international airport where flights flights land when you are going to the immigration counter let's say that you already have the online visa before you get to the counter, to the left hand side, before the immigration, there's one counter which has small forms which you still need to fill. Just ask for your passport number, the airline and the place that you're going to stay. With your passport, just go to the immigration officer, give him all of these things. He will give you a stamp with 30 days. If you don't have that, then you have to go to the visa on arrival counter. Of course, there, there are procedures uh, which you need to follow. And after that, still you have 30 days and you are now free to enjoy and explore one of the most beautiful island nations in the world. So, happy traveling. Hey Machans, uh, a few more steps. Uh, Machans is dude or friend in Sinhala, uh, the Sri Lankan language and uh, all you need to do is to like share and subscribe to our channel and if you're looking for some ideas for new year destinations we already have a video for you here it is have a look and make sure that you have real fun in sri lanka <laughs>